goes for tank, it's a bit more reliable when it comes down to the long team fights. Just again, we're seeing the support coming in from both of the teams. Tennis indoor Sanayan for both Echo and Team Hawk. Let's give it up one more time before we get into the decider. Back to a best of one. Game number five in the land of dawn. Look at the start Welcome here for to Gary. Gonna start up his purple. Same for Carl Tizi. Uh, but again, Min just. At this point, Echo just knows that this is how Min is gonna play this Hilda. Yeah. And I gotta give the draft actually to Team Hawk for picking up Xavier in the end. If you look at the entire side of Team Echo, who was gonna get on this Xavier? Song. Oh, yeah, sure, you don't, but oh, you have to go through a lot of vision, right? Because you know exactly where Yujong's coming. You have Kyoto, you have Chao, who's not going to lose lane that much. So if Yujong's going to be rotating, Chao's going to tell his team, hey, by the way, there's a dragon coming your way, so be prepared. I guess at that point, they're just hoping that Sanford, again, makes the wrong call <laughs> and is just left with nothing. Because that happens. We've seen that happen oh. many times in this series so far. They did swap, they by did the way. They did swap, yep. But I don't think it's a good lane for the Beach Freaks up against, against the Yu Zong. You can already see it. And in the gold lane, Benny is actually going to be able to, to shout some damage back in. Lola losing out of the trade despite having a 2v1. You know, the, the swap philosophy is very, very interesting right here. Because Beatrice, again, is going to fall behind in the lane. Because Team Farm as well, uh, compared to the Brody. But the thing about this game is Brody late game is going to be much less scarier compared to Beatrix, right? Because Beatrix, after you get those three core items, the Cauldron Size, the, the DHS, the, the Golden Staff, he's going to one-shot the Frederick. Yeah, so it, it's going to come to uh, Team Hawk maybe making the decision to switch up like they did previously in the series, right? They do the Malaysian switch, the start, and then they eventually course correct. We'll see if, yeah. if that same call happens here. Something else to note, the lack of gold in the early phase that the Beatrix will suffer might be worse given that it's a weapons master Beatrix. Ah, uh, absolutely. Now, first turtle's coming up. And it seems like Team Hawk, again, has better map control in this area. Look at Hilda. Well, they are playing for that XP lane because of Panda. So they will have oh, a little bit more invade. room to play with. They're gonna invade right now with Divine Judgment oh. popped in. Gary finds the top of the blades, gets out, is able to actually secure the purple buff despite having that invade onto him. And Echo just moved back. Call TD doesn't have the retribution. Gary doesn't have it too, but they're still trying to go for the turtle. You'll say no harm, no foul, but that might be what they're setting up for. The ult and the lack of retribution. Here comes a Black Dragon form. No contest for Team Hawk. It's clean. It's just clean, you know? It's just a contest up top, though. That's the Petrify and the Furious Dive. Oh. Panda losing a whole lot of HP as Min jumps in trying to just dish out a bit more damage with Ultimate 2. That's the Dawning Light coming through. Not able to connect Sanford with a very good sidestep. And it's still Echo grasping onto that 500 gold lead. Ooh, TikTok Live Carnival for the M4 Carnival. Playoff. Come to TikTok and cheer for M4. Not only have exclusive custom skins, you also have a bunch of other stuff to make sure you show up. Yep, and again, thanks to the gang. Dave, what do you feel about that first major rotation with the turtle? Right before Echo makes a play, can they get it? Oh, the oh. Judgment brings man over to his own turret there. <laughs> Lola actually be able to find a Jeet Kune Do, and that's oh. gonna be the Dawning oh. Light securing first blood. Gary still onto Benny, that's Bang. gonna be stun coming in by Benny. Gary with oh. a pass of blades is able to actually cancel it out, gets the kill down. Lola flickering out, taken low, but he is safe. Two for one, Team Hawk with a better value. They definitely traded. Now getting the Brody taken down. Brody is strong early game. Should kind of stop that momentum and allow Beatrix to safely farm. That's going to be really good. Look him in though. Just being a nuisance to the entire side of Echo. I got to say the first rotation for the entire side of Echo is pretty smart. They made it the jungle. They made it the jungle. Take the blue away. Look at the damage. Did that's they succeed? From Savior. Oh yeah, no, that's Gary. Yep. Let's grab that purple. Mm. Carl Tz was actually able to secure it, yeah? Against Gary here, who didn't have the retribution on time. Again, uh, in this game, it does feel like Team Hawk are getting a lot of kills, and I do feel like for the Beatrix, it's not gonna be an XP lane Beatrix the entire game. It's just gonna be the XP lane Beatrix up until the fifth minute. Then they're gonna swap. At, at the fifth minute though, the gold cards and the XP cards they don't exist anymore. So uh, again, I think it really was the intention to win the lane. Yep. And so far, they're, they're, they're making it there, but they're not converting to much because again, the major objectives are going to Echo. Yes, I mean, 
And Echo's playing really smart again in this game, right? Their rotation, they're playing the hot game in a sense. We're playing the taking aggressive to your own jungle, taking Lean's jungle. No Lean's weak in jungle, have to use Retri just to secure objectives. You can now, because of an early play from Power TZ, from Team Echo, now Lean is forced to not contest any objectives. But to go to the other side to steal uh, scraps, really, right? One or two small camps. Slowly but surely, they're starving Gary. And it may seem like Echo, five minutes in, found their way back into the series. Here in the mid lane, you can already see some damage being placed down. But Carl Teasy on the Fredrin, he can just soak that damage in. Min and Gary will not be able to actually dish out as much as Carl Teasy sustains, especially when he's already a bit. He's very tanky now, actually. Steals the purple buff away. And like you mentioned, Gary is not getting a say in the game right now. Oh, Divine well. Judgment pulling Min back. That's going to be the real world. Revelation popped in as well. Gary, with the time of the Blades, isn't able to dish out as much damage as he would want to. Yep, and all this time, THQ making the most of it. Panda was pushing up top. That's a tier one going down. And that's very important, Tier 1. We saw this happen in the previous game, what Tier 1 top happened, and then it's Tier 1 bottom, but here we go, Minlay. Beautiful cancel for Ooh. that way the Dragon, man. It was looking bad, but Ooh. wait. Oh, Carl Teezy solo? What? 1v1, Panda taken down in the XP lane as Gary looks for a trade here. Oh, that's the cutoff. Oh, Yaoi finding the sandwich maneuver, holding on. No, doesn't have the Divine Judgment, actually. Gary gets out with the Finch Poise. Oh, here we go. The split push meta from Hot No. <laughs> you know, actually, a little bit of uncharacteristic from each side. They're playing each other's game in a sense, right? Yeah. We know Akko to be the split push, but now it's the other side from Hawk. They're playing Ling. Oh, here we go. Yaoi, he does have the ultimate, does have the flicker, though. Not enough damage between the three of them down there. And it's impressive how Carl Tizi has gotten to this level, right? Yeah. Uh, slowly but surely, stealing things away as much as he could from Gary. And yeah, Sanford so far did so well to keep Panda down, Mom. And now here's the uh, eventual uh, course correction. And Carl is not letting go, man. Uh -oh. oh, here we go. Lola able to find the way the Dragon, but the Witcher Boy connects Sanford in the 2v1 what? right now. Lola still able to knock him up. Temper the Blades as well, but the sustainability of Sanford is dealing so much right now. Lola gonna be caught, has the Shun Poo, gets out, but Sanford has outplayed Sanji. the 2v1. Sanji rotating, oh! picking up a kill. The Sand Sand oh! combo is that's gonna be Lola knocking Sanji up. Sanji still looking for the skill shot right now as Lola tries his best to sidestep the Sand Sand duo. Picks up a double. And that's why Sanji plays carry mid. He's so accurate on everything he does. Look at those pinpoint accuracy on skill one here. Oh, flicker from Yaoi coming to the middle. And that's Yaoi backing off the damage from oh. the Dawning Light and from Min just poking him back. All right, so already we can say clearly Echo ahead. And look at this, 4v1, can Kalti survive? Oh, yes, he can. The Appraiser's oh. Wrath gets him the HP back. But not for long, not long enough for the other members to come Sanji. through, but Sanji wants revenge. Man is down, and Echo are still holding on to the lead, even forcing more from Team Huck. That's a man down. I was just about to say before the saver, uh, you know, bit the dust, there is some signs of life from Team Huck, despite being down about 4K here, eight minutes in. Man is their late game insurance policy. The fact that he can defend from anywhere and help open up the map alongside Gary could be their ticket into staying in the upper bracket. Exactly, that's exactly what I was about to say. I mean, yes, right now the way is going towards Echo. Here comes the Conceal play it all. Oh, Sanji's actually gonna be the one engaging here. Man. The real world of the Oh my god, it almost just takes my oh. down! Sanji with the flicker! And Lola with the way the dragon, but it's only on to Yaoi. A misplay here as it's man down again. You were saying, Dave. Oh, I was just saying that late game, that Team Hawk might have the late game insurance to actually make a comeback. But right now, because the play the entire set of Echo's making, it doesn't seem like the insurance is going to do much. And so far, Echo has not let go. Again, for the longest time in the series, game three and four, Echo was down. Now they are back in the driver's seat, 5K ahead. Gary already making a cut deep up top, but that's not gonna stop Echo from taking this tier two turret. Echo is feeling it. They're not going to the lower bracket. They have recovered, but Team Hawk, it's not too late just yet. Yeah, they need a few minutes for Team Hawk though. Right now, Beatrice is not online yet. You can see, even though she was there in the team fight, but she couldn't do 
significant enough damage in a short period of time. And look how tanky the entire Echo is, right? Yaoi is tanky, Kartis is tanky, even Sanji, you know, is, is the one of the tankiest mage, should I say, in the entire game. I mean, this got to go to like, what, 15 minutes at this point in order for Team Hawk to stay in this game. For a chance even to think about it, right? So yes. How do they stay alive for 15 minutes? Well, number one, yes, continue cutting the lanes. Because again, at least Gary's making a leeway, took that tier Aww. one down bottom. But that aside, maybe the friend from the base. I'm wondering what Man has built so far. Uh, last we checked, I think, he had two major items, right? The Enchanted Talisman and the Clock of Destiny. Because that's going to be the major difference. At least Team Hawk has good wave clear. They do. Bennett plus Xavier, plus also, I don't know about, I don't know if I want to say a solid front line, right? They have men, and they also have, oh, that's a damage show, by the way, right? So I don't know what the front line, man. That's oh. going to be my judgment. Pulling Ooh. man back. And that's not what you want if you're Team Hawk. Exactly what you want if you're Echo. They're going all to the base. That's, the, that's so much damage. They want to end. Onto man. And once again, Gary's going to oh. fall. Benny is massive. GG. Echo and the game. They recover and they secure it in the best of five. Three to two. They send Team Hawk oh. to lower brackets.